everyone, I hope you're well. So I'm making the second attempt to go to this restaurant here in Amsterdam called Mama Kelly, where everything is pink and gold. Um, the first attempt was made a couple of months ago, just a few months ago actually, where a friend of mine from Sweden that I hadn't seen for about like 15 years, I kid you not, had come across and we were supposed to go to this restaurant, but there was a massive snowstorm. Uh, and everything just came to a complete standstill, so we couldn't go. I'm going to put a link of that vlog in the description box below in case you're curious and want to have a look. But this is now the second attempt. <laughs> so, fingers crossed everything's going to go according to plan. There's no snow outside, so I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. Sorry if I'm talking really quick, but it's because I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh gosh, this camera is so heavy, my arm's hurting. Perhaps I should go to the gym. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing and then I'm going to take you with me to Mama Kelly. I'm going to film a little bit there, but I can't film too much because I can't film the guests there, obviously, but... Excuse the ring light, it's 6.30 pitch black. I really need it, otherwise we won't be able to see anything. So I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a very simple, <laughs> typical me outfit. Really simple basics, and then I just play with accessories to make it fun, playful, and just create a style that way. That's just what I'm, what my aesthetic is all about. A very simple white t-shirt from All Saints. Um, these are black sort of trousers, but almost like stretchy leggings, but very thick ones from Zara, several years old. I got four or five pairs of them, and that's what I normally do. I get multiple, um, oh sorry, just making sure I'm in focus. If I find a basic that I really like, that I know I'm going to live in uh, and use for years to come, and they're from High Street, then I just get several pairs of them because the quality is not normally that good. So uh, I'm on my sort of last good pair, so I need to find a new set that I can purchase. Uh, this belt is also from Zara and several years old, and it has saved so many outfits of mine because as you can see, you can wear something super simple, throw this on, and you instantly have created a little something. Which is what I feel like I'm saying every single time I show you my outfits, but that's basically what what I like and what I'm about in terms of style. So uh, this is my trusted pink bag that I'm just using for everything. It looks really light on camera, but sorry, very itchy, uh, but it's not. I'm going to show you other details. So I have really layered, if you will focus, layered bracelets here. And I'm also going to show you this vintage ring that used to belong to my grandmother that I just had resized for my pinky. So this is very old. Okay, uh, we're in a little bit of a rush, so I'm gonna jump in the car. My husband's going to kindly, kindly drop me off, which is so nice. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in Mama Kelly. Sorry, I just wanted to show you which fragrance I'm wearing as well, because um, I'm a complete fragrance maniac. Uh, I'm wearing um, Bond Number no. 9's West Side. I almost wore, uh, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, which actually a lot of men wear, but I do like to wear men's fragrances as well. But then I took a quick look at myself and thought, what was I thinking? I absolutely cannot wear that. It doesn't go with my style. So I took this one because this is quite a sweet fragrance and I don't normally like sweet fragrances. I can find them quite overbearing and a bit sickly. This is borderline that but I obviously really like it, hence why I bought it. Um, but I don't know the notes in there just on top of my head, but I think it must have something like musk or sandalwood in there because it's um, it's got a nice depth to it. It's, it's nice and warm as well. So it doesn't smell like a bag of pick -a mix you know? But I thought I needed something, a fragrance that was suitable for the evening. So not, not, nothing that was... Um, too fresh. I wanted something that was a bit heavier, but that was playful and fun. Um, and I thought, well, then it'll have to be this one for tonight. It goes with my style a lot more. chin angle. Oh, never mind. Um, hi everyone, today is... Oh, I just, sorry, I just never like my hair on camera. Um, which means obviously that that's a true representation of what it looks like, but I'm just so big-headed that I thought it looked better. 
Okay, let me do this maybe. <laughs> Hi everyone, today is Sunday. It's the morning after Mama Kelly. It was, it was nice. It was uh, actually much bigger than what we thought. I thought it was just going to be one floor and so did my friend. It was actually across four floors and uh, they have a basement and then three other floors. And um, yeah, it was pretty big. I think it seats about over 300 people. The bar is really cute, but it's quite small. And interestingly enough, you can't go and sit at the bar before you get seated at your table in case you want to have a drink because they open at 10 o'clock, which I thought was a little bit odd. It's the only restaurant I've been to with a bar where you're not, you can't sit at the bar before. But we went there afterwards and had, a, had some dessert wine there with, with dessert there actually, uh, because we thought, oh, we don't want to have a dessert. Um, and then we went downstairs, took a couple of photos in their booth and I thought, hmm, quite fancy dessert. <laughs> so then there was a really lovely girl at the bar and she said, yeah, that's fine, you can have it here. So we had dessert wine and dessert there. Yeah, it was cute. It was a nice shade of pink. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a tacky pink. It was a really nice shade and in the dark, it actually looked really nice and warm, a really warm shade. Anyway, let me not spend 20 minutes talking about the shade of pink. Um, yeah, so now we are going to, it's sunny. I mean, this whole week has been sunny, touch wood. It's obviously going to change any day now because I jinxed it, but it's just a complete miracle that it's been sunny this whole week. Um, it's freezing, but sunny, which I love. It's just fresh, you know. And I'm going to go and meet uh, Karin, my friend, from last night. She flies, uh, she leaves Amsterdam in late afternoon. So we're going to go, she must go and get a coat, a winter coat. So we're going to meet there, she's going to get her coat going to grab some lunch and yeah that's about it I'll take you with me I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing like I said it's freezing outside so that explains the jacket but let's start with the bag this is a sac de jour from Saint Laurent I am going to be wearing my Jimmy Fairley sunglasses that I got um, in Paris you would have seen that in my Paris vlog focus I really like them they're really nice and discreet no logos anywhere really like that and this polo neck, I'm sure you've seen this polo neck before. This is one of many that I bought from Zara Basic and I got them in three different colors and two of each just because I live in them. These jeans, I have so many white jeans. Okay, these are the ones with the funny zip which means they're from Ralph Lauren. So annoying. Um, yeah, these are Ralph Lauren jeans. The shoes are Chanel shoes with a sweet little pearl detail, which I, which I quite like there. Uh, and they're very, very comfortable. So the jacket, the jacket is from H&M. And I went there because I wanted to get, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I have sort of like a dog closet for when I walk Finn. I can't, because I carry him a lot and I can't wear my normal clothes because they get completely ruined. Like my coats would just get completely ruined. So I normally go to H&M for my dog jackets. But then I found this, which was intended to be a dog jacket but I have been living in it because it's just, I love it. I don't know what I was thinking. It's actually really nice. Um, it's, it's like a huge duvet and it is extra huge because I bought it in a size 44, which was the biggest size they had. Just to give you an idea, I'm a European size 34 and this is 44. And it's got a really nice big collar, which you can also use as a hood. And I got it on sale. Did I mention that? I got it on sale and it was 30 euros. But it's, I've used it so much, it's incredibly warm. Fragrance of the day, as you've noticed, this is something I want to start doing, is, um, of course, by Radio Blanche. Love it. I wanted to show you the nicest Chanel building that I have seen, anyway. See how the tiles trickle down into glass? Beautiful, isn't it? I'm just too embarrassed to say, okay, so we've come to Burberry, she wanted to get a new coat, and I was like, okay, she wants to get a coat. I come up, she's like, you think, you really think I'm insane? And of course I do, because look, <laughs> She has, this is only four, four days old, and she's managed to get like a little burn mark on it. So she made a stitch in black, and she was like, oh, I can amend it. But it's bothered her so much that she's in Burberry, and she wants to get the exact same coat. Know that. <laughs> Just because she doesn't have a 
can't touch. So the lovely Celt Associate is like, no, that's silly. You can't even see it. I mean, can you guys see it? You can't even see it. So I'm like, if you want to get it, a... <laughs> okay, I'm getting a bit embarrassed. <laughs> if you want to get a coat, get a completely different one. And yes, before you all don't wonder, get the same one. I am insane. <laughs> this is not the only point I'm crazy at. Please tell me you guys agree. You agree? Yeah. Hide. Hide. And she's, she's still hesitant, and I'm like, listen, it's your, your right hand, this is your left arm, so you're not even going to see it all the time. I could understand if it's you stretching out your right arm all the time and you'll be able to see it. Look, she's not impressed. It's the truth, <laughs> it's the truth. I'm just going to let her insanity go, is so what she's I'm, saying. I'm, I'm not mental anymore. I'm, no, <laughs> you came to your senses. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I know I sound like a spoiled <laughs> No, not at all. I get it. I said to her, it's like when you have a wonky eyebrow, you get a, uh, your eyebrows done and then you have one wonky one. Yeah. And then suddenly that's all you see. Yeah. So that's what I'm telling her. I was like, it's that wonky eyebrow and nobody else can see it. No, I know. And it's... we're also saying how lovely is the Burberry girl because it makes you trust her more. Yeah. So when you trust Burberry more because she was honest. So yeah. you're like, next time you want to get a, something, you'll yeah. be like, I'll go to Burberry. Yeah, yeah I exactly. trust that girl's opinion. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> Yeah, I fell this morning, like clumsy, like swan. She fell down the stairs and I was like, oh, was it just an old trip? She was like, no, it was a uh, on my bum sliding yeah. down the yeah. stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but that's this. typical us. And then I just yeah. like brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr